Hello guys, welcome to my review for Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. I'm sorry I haven't done many video reviews, I just don't really have the time for them, and I prefer doing written reviews on a site called Letterboxd. So if you want to know my thoughts on loads of other movies I've been seeing, you can go on there and check out my account at jk007. But, uh, first off, let's do another video review because I have time. Uh, so, uh, I saw Secrets of Dumbledore, and to be honest, the Fantastic Beasts movies are movies that I was originally really invested in with the first film. I think the first one, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, is extremely fun and magical and witty and fairly underrated. Um, and I think David Yates continuing his direction of the franchise was a good call. Uh, then Crimes of Grindelwald came out, and the first time I watched it, I thought it was okay, but re-watching it, the movie is so slow and boring and never develops the story or characters at all. And I found that movie extremely disappointing, unfortunately, is the first Wizarding World film I didn't like. And I was actually really excited for Secrets of Dumbledore to expand that story finally, and it looked way more epic, it looked way more magical and fun, uh, just like the Harry Potter movies and the first Fantastic Beasts. And unfortunately, the first half of this movie is everything I didn't like about Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, it takes out all the magic and just gives us a lot of political wizarding stuff and adventure that just slogs and doesn't really develop the story or the characters at all. And that's unfortunately what the first half of this movie was to me, despite having some fantastic moments and graces that I really did enjoy uh, that kind of saved the film from being fully dull or fully forgettable. But I think visually it's nothing too interesting, I think. David Yates has sort of made this franchise a bit stale and I would like someone else maybe to come on and do something interesting for Fantastic Beasts 4. And by the end of this film, I felt like we were back at the exact same place we were at the end of the last one. It just felt like filler again. And when it ended, I was like, okay, has this franchise been concluded or not? It generally confused me. And even though there were moments I thought were effective, I really like Jude Law as Dumbledore. I like the cast of Fantastic Beasts, Jacob and Newt are great. There's a few characters that unfortunately get very sidelined and don't do as much, but hopefully other installments might focus on them more. I really enjoyed uh, Mads Mikkelsen as uh, Grindelwald. I think he's the best version of the character. I still actually would have preferred Colin Farrell to stay on the role because he's my personal favorite act of the actor wise but in terms of him and Johnny Depp he has a lot more to do in this movie than Johnny Depp had to do in the second movie and I really liked him in this film and I think it was a much better Grindelwald and they gave Grindelwald a lot to do he was actually an interesting villain I understood his motives and what I liked in this movie the most was a lot of its ideas and the way the plot was surrounded around Dumbledore's specific secrets he was giving to everyone there's some interesting plays on I don't know who knows what and uh, stuff like that, that I thought was really interesting, but unfortunately the story was pretty much the exact same as the previous film. It felt like it was recapping or repeating the other movie and just trying to make it a little more interesting. And yes, this was an improvement and it was better, but it was still fairly boring. And no matter how well made something is or how interesting its ideas are, if a movie is boring, I'm turned off and... I was sat waiting for the movie to pick up, and it did in moments, but unfortunately I didn't get much out of Secrets of Dumbledore at all, and I think it's a disappointing third film, and hopefully if they make other installments, they can bring back some more of the fun. And I think, again, it being dull and boring is a huge misstep for a franchise that was so magical and exciting. So Secrets of Dumbledore disappointed me, but it was an improvement over the last, and I still think if you're a fan of the Wizarding World, you should still see it. Overall, I'm going to give Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, a C+. I'm also going to give it around a 6 out of 10. Guys, let me know what you thought of Secrets of Dumbledore in the comments down below. And of course, thanks for watching, and goodbye.